I wanted to share this breaking news Google alert that I just received. Dateline is Jerusalem, Thursday, February 23rd, 2012. In response to reports of the continued after-death baptisms of Jewish Holocaust victims, most notably Anne Frank, by members of the Mormon Church, the Congregation of Latter-day Moyles, based in Jerusalem, announced Thursday that their organization had launched a systematic program of after-death circumcision of deceased Mormon males. The group spokesman, Rabbi Shlomo Messerkoff, reported that the process had begun with the ritual after-death circumcision of long-dead Mormon church founder Joseph Smith. We thought we'd start at the top. That's sort of our motto, said a proud Rabbi Messerkoff. When asked about the results of the first procedure, he noted, hey, it wasn't a pretty picture, but I'm pleased to say that things went a lot better with our second go around. That was the bris for Brigham Young. I think we're sort of getting the hang of all of this after death stuff. Commenting on the unanticipated difficulties encountered with the initial trials, Messerkoff explained, We've had to work on a much larger scale than we're used to. Noting that ritual circumcision is typically performed on Jewish boys eight days after they are born, the somewhat flustered rabbi elaborated, These dead Mormon men are much older than our usual customers, and to be honest, they are, how should I say, much better endowed than most Jewish guys. Messerkoff reflected, of course this doesn't mean that we aren't still the chosen people, but I guess it looks like we weren't chosen in this particular way. The Congregation of Latter-day Moyles said that they have plans to extend the after-death Mormon circumcision program to centers around the world, although they acknowledged that they would wait for a ruling on the applicability of a local anti-genital cutting ordinance in San Francisco before establishing a center there. Since there is no counterpart to circumcision in the Jewish tradition for women, Rabbi Messerkoff indicated that deceased Mormon females would be subjected to an after-death variation of the Jewish coming-of-age ritual for girls known as bat mitzvah the exact format of which is still under consideration. They're probably going to have to do a Torah reading or something like that, explained Messerkoff. It will be a lot more work for those dead Mormon ladies, but let's face it, it's going to be a lot less painful than after-death circumcision. Besides, he continued, we'll top it all off with an after-death reception and a after-death DJ-hosted dance party. That should be a whole lot of fun.